The more I think and teach and talk about consent, the more I realize that consent is kind of a terrible end goal. Saying that consent is the end goal in your relationship is a little bit like saying breathing is the end goal of a healthy living program. Yes, breathing is required for whatever diet, exercise, meditation, mindfulness program you're going to begin, but it is not all that is required for healthy living. It's pretty much a baseline sort of thing that should just be there in the background, right? Um, when we talk about consent around sexual interaction or intimate interaction or physical interaction, um, what we're talking about is we're setting the bar at did not commit assault, did not commit a crime to have this interaction. I feel like we should aspire to more than that. I think when we are thinking and talking about the intimate, physical, and sexual relationships we'd like to have, we should be aspiring not to consent, but to a collaborative co-creation of delightful experiences that make everybody involved happy. And that's a way higher bar, but we're going to get to better results that way. So let's quit talking about consent as though it's the end goal for what we want in our relationships and in our lives.